Welcome back to MD Connected. I'm Joanna Gomez. Pause for You is an animal organization that rescues pets that are sick, injured, homeless, surrendered, or simply lost and nurses them back to health and finds a caring home for them if needed. Here to tell us more about Pause for You, rescue our volunteers, Jen Ford and Flavia Birdie. Welcome, ladies. Thank you very much. And of course, Thank you, you brought you our little friend, Gizmo. Gizmo the Beagle. <laughs> Gizmo the Beagle that's having so much fun with his heart and his little lamb there. Okay, so talk to me a little bit about Pause for You. Well, Pause for You is a dog rescue organization. We do cats here and there as well. We've, our main focus is rescuing animals from the euthanasia list on, in animal services. Animal services gets about 100, 150 animals a day, and they euthanize that a many day. a day. A day. A day. So, and wait, but how long? Isn't it like a list? Isn't that how it works? Well, it's like a list and then... Now, sadly enough, there's a lot of owner surrenders. I, I, this fact sticks in my mind on July 30th, 63 people walked in and, and surrendered their dogs. No. And they don't keep those dogs. They, those go immediately to the top of the list. Strays, they keep for five days waiting for the owners. So if anybody ever loses their dog, they should definitely go to animal services to see if it's there. They only keep the strays for five days. That is the saddest thing ever. How long has yeah. Pause Free been around? Well, all of us have, have volunteered with different organizations. Pause Free You became a 501c3 in April. Okay. So our group with our red t-shirts and we're down at PetSmart, we started in April. Oh, very nice. Okay, so let's talk about how many animals you guys have. So you have uh, Gizmo, which obviously he needs a nice home. Adopt he me. <laughs> this handmade handkerchief. We've yeah. got Gizmo. We've got about 20 to 25 other dogs. We've got three other beagles. Mm -hmm. We had Beagle Mania. Carol, the president of the organization, she couldn't be here today, but she she likes beagles, and we happen to have about 12 beagles over the past 12 months. Wow. And we've got four of them left. So I mean, beagles are great with kids. They're well well behaved. Their their mannerisms. They're just happy dogs, as you can see. Right, Gizmo? You're gonna smile for the camera. <laughs> there we go. There we now, go. is there a, a statistic of maybe one kind of dog is always left? I mean, like, I know there was a, there's a big popular demand for the tiny little tiny exactly. clip, the chihuahuas and all that good stuff in the Maltese. Now, do you find that after they have those dogs for a little bit, they just kind of let them go? No, I, it really, see, with the owner surrenders, it, it's really the people who have the issues, not the dogs. No, not the dogs. Right, because we have a dog trainer, actually, Dee Holt. She's, she has applause for you uh, training, and she volunteers uh, to, with all of our dogs. So she's there on Sunday helping us teach the kid volunteers how to control the dogs, and she donates an hour of her training session with every adoption. So it's really teaching the people how to take care of their dogs. The dogs that end up at animal services are not... It's not the issue. A small, small percentage are feral or, or you know, are, cannot be uh, rehabilitated, but that's such a small percentage. The dogs right, there... That was a, it's a big misconception. Everyone thinks that a lot of the dogs are sick or... You know, they're they're not they're right. Not. They're not. So I mean, we can only do so much with 100, 150 coming in a day. We can only pull here and there. And and Carol, the president, works with other board members, and and they they pull a dog or two a week, and you know we try to get them better. Sometimes they have kennel cough and they need to be isolated for two weeks. But then after that, I mean, they're fine. We. They're ready to go home. To They're loved. <laughs> they are. That's why we, we're down at PetSmart across from the falls every Sunday from 11 to 3. And we socialize the dogs. We have other events. We were at Macy's on Saturday. And the dogs just love the attention. And, you know, it, it has nothing. To, the dogs are just fine. They they. They don't need rehabilitation. They, they, the ones they from animal need love, and they're at, they're at an all-time low with adoptions at animal services. Really? So if anybody you know wants to go look at the dogs there, I think they have about 400 any 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 given day. So you have an but event coming up, which is a golf tournament. The golf. And Flavia has some information that. on that. Actually, yes, our golf tournament will be taking place on Monday, October 8th. Okay. Um, I believe there's lunch and the reception at 12, and there's a shotgun start at 2 o'clock. Mm -hmm. um, we have lots of people that, are, actually, all our sponsorships have been sold out, so we've had a great response. Oh, that's great. We only have six foursomes left. Oh. So, like I said, we're almost sold out, and we're really excited about that event. It's going to help us a lot with all our vet bills, because, you know, our dogs actually... We rely on foster homes, and we only have our dogs at um, vet clinics, only you know where they get the best of medical attention. Mm -hmm. So that's going to help us with that, and yeah, that's as yeah, far because as so they all tournament. stay. So instead of uh, a shelter, which is our long-term goal, right. is we have Carol, who is the president of the organization. She's a vet pharmaceutical rep, so she has great connections. All of our dogs, if they have, we had this one German Shepherd who had major back problems, so she sent it to an orthopedic surgeon. We have. Um, little Joey, who I saved, who goes to a dermatologist 
and then we have an what ophthalmologist. Was wrong with Joey? Well, he had <laughs> no little Joey had mange, oh. so he was sitting in the back of his cage. He's a black lab mix. Well, black lab actually, I think about three months old. He looked gray. He looked like a Weimaraner. He had no hair. All of his hair fell out. Poor so, thing. what are his chances of being adopted? But he was a puppy. So we rescued him, and he's been in the care of a dermatologist just to make his mange. I mean, mange, you just need a couple injections. He's good to go. He's 100% better. Um, if they're showing pictures while we talk, there's, I, I have a picture of him. He has this little black hair. He's really, really cute. But we, they go and see specialists. We don't take any shortcuts when it comes to their medical well-being. Do you well -being. screen people that go and say, I want to adopt? adopt. Absolutely. Yes. That, it seems to be that the biggest problem right now is just they just surrender people owners surrender their dogs and that's a huge problem it's a huge problem and what we do is we we ask for two hundred dollar donation with every adoption okay. and that helps screen a little bit and it also goes to our all the vet bills and the boarding as i said but we do home visits then we f do follow-up visits because Dee the trainer like i said she volunteers an hour of her time so she goes and follows up with all of the um with all the adoptions just to see how things are going and so we do pre-screening we do you know screening post screening we do it all because we become attached of course because we're not yeah. a huge organization so we have our dogs and we all get to know the dogs especially you know on Sundays if you come down to Sundays and see us you'll see the whole crew with and we have kid kids any kids who want to volunteer yeah. with, for we're their always looking for, for the community what would hours they be doing? Need well, we need to, with every dog, there's one handler, and then every kid has a little name tag about the dog that they're holding, so they can walk around the store, walk around outside, and... Um, we also need people to request donations, that's always necessary, uh -huh. um, and also for our, you know, uh, um, our other events, like the golf tournament, or if they'd like to, um, if they have like a vet um, club at their school, or mm -hmm. if they want to form, you know, a pet rescue club, you know, we're there to, to educate, we'll go over there and teach them, and we can just join forces and, right. and work for the good of... of mm -hmm. These cute little animals. So you guys are a small organization. Mm -hmm. Well, future we're growing plans. and growing and You're growing. growing. And growing. I mean, but future plans to be bigger. Maybe well, we might oh, add, the have more, more dogs, help more. Definitely. What do you guys well, the more volu volunteers we have, the more adoption events we have. She secured this great position at Macy, so we were out there, and the more volunteers we have, the more opportunity. It's all about FaceTime with the dog. Right. It's all about people meeting. I mean, look how cute Gizmo is. You meet Gizmo, seeing him on the website is nothing like meeting him in person. Yes. So the more I volunteers agree. we have, the more. Um, adoption events we can have in different places besides just PetSmart. You know, the, the PetSmarts are great with their charity and you know, we can go to any PetSmart that we want. We just don't have the manpower yet. And that's what I mean by we're small. We're not small in any sense, of, you know, medical care or boarding or anything. We, right. we try, we do the best. But so we, I, what you need the most help is in volunteers. Mm -hmm. Volunteering, volunteers, yes. Because then we can have more fundraisers because we want a transportation van so that we can go up to the PetSmart at, at uh, Pembroke Pines on right. Sundays. We can go up there and show some of our dogs. So we're trying, we want more volunteers for more fundraisers and then we can have the van and, and we can just go more places. We can s rescue more dogs. A hundred a day is so much and we can only do we're so much. Do so and, much. Yeah, and with there, there, I'm trying to help animal services educate the public as well because that is an adoption center. You want a dog to go to animal services because they're the ones that are literally on death row, as, as sad as that sounds, but they yeah. are. Yeah. Right. Gizmo was one of them, all of our dogs. We well, only have two of them that uh, one was rescued from the street and one was um, a situation, an emergency situation, had to take them. But all of our dogs you see on our website, all from animal services. Wow. Well, thank you so much for being here. I love him. He's adorable. <laughs> Absolutely. There he's adorable. Adorable. Thank, you. <laughs> thank you so much for being here. I wish you the best of luck. Thank, thank you. Thank you for, thank having, you for us. having us. Don't go away. We'll be right back after this brief pause. You're watching MD Connected.